Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm at a flea market and today we're going to be looking for things that we could flip and treasures we could find. So let me know in the comments what you would have purchased if you would have came along with me personally. Well, you guys did come along with me in this video, but if you would have been there in person, what would you have bought in? Let me know in the comments below. So let's get started. So the first thing I spotted was this cool vintage phone and Marilyn Monroe herself. Well, I'm really into that Marilyn thing. And also my sister-in-law loves Marilyn Monroe. She has a bunch of frames in her house. So shout out to her on this video. Yeah, this person had a lot of Marilyn Monroe pictures. So coming along, this cool dresser that I saw they seem to have a lot of cool things in this stand here I really like this um, New York um, picture frame um, picture really love that and looking around a lot of furniture it was a bit pricey in this stand so I kind of passed off on it because remember I'm looking for flips as you guys know, um, I really love these chairs. Uh, they were really nice for an outdoor space. What do you guys think? Ooh, it looks like someone got lucky in scoring some good items, like those two people. I don't know if it's just me, but do you guys ever feel like if you're not there early, people take your treasures, take things that you'll probably buy yourself? But anyways, we came, we came along. We came, we came along to this one right here. It looks like. It's a really good collection of chairs. They were really, really interesting chairs. They had a different form from the bottom. They had a lot of interesting things, like all these collectible frames. A lot of little knickknacks to collect. And let me check it out over here. Also, a lot of vintage items, little carts. I really like um, that water, the water jug right there with the wood around it. That was really cool. Oh. You guys won't believe what I found next is Pikachu! So yeah, then I came across this dresser. The bad thing is that it was already sold and that was a bummer, but it's okay. We'll just move along to the next one. I kept coming across this lady right here. She looked like she was getting really good items. And then I spotted something that caught my eye. So I decided to go and look at these boxes right here. I have a idea what I would like to do for a future DIY project for next video and the man here on this post was letting me know and sharing with me that he had built this furniture here in his post on his own and he was telling me the material every, every and the process of him building these and they were really well made and really nice um, I love seeing things like this when people create their own things and um, have a passion of doing furniture or DIYs and stuff like that that really catches my eye so I appreciate him taking the time and sharing with me his process so shout out to him I use it. I've been using it for a year and I've, I've sold on it. Yeah. And one sheet of, of, of um, you get two pieces out of one sheet, but you waste a little strip. Oh, yeah? But it's okay. You, you get a lot done. You ever try and do it by hand? It, it doesn't work. Yeah, it work. takes forever. Yeah, because all you're getting is the pressure point of the fingertips and maybe the point. Yeah. If that whole thing, it has like a little rubber thing on it. Yeah. Go to Home Depot and get one and you'll be happy with it. Yeah, I'll try that. Stack of paper. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll think... wire brush with these two. Yeah. I just wire brush. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I'll take it, but I'm probably gonna have to come back for it. Yeah, that's fine. Let me ask This dresser right here was really nice. It needed some work. Um, the middle part was a little damaged and all the handles were missing out of the little um, original handle. So I kind of had to pass on that one and they wanted a little too much for it. For me to make a flip, I think I wouldn't have got any money back with that one. So like I said, when I buy things, I buy things to flip and when I want to buy things from my home I do pay a little more which I'm okay with so yeah I had to pass on that right now they have right here on this post was a lot of little cute little items that you see here let me know what you guys would have bought in right here or in any of the post what you guys would have purchased let me know in the comments all right guys This is the best because it didn't used to be in a frame. It just was a frame and nothing to protect it. So we put it in this. It doesn't fit exactly, but at least it protects it. Um, they're going on eBay in worse shape for about 80 bucks. Then we found this great deal on a GT bike. Um, we only paid $10, which is really, really rare for these type of bikes. They're really expensive elsewhere, so we were really happy that we got a great deal on that bike. And we just had a boogie down a little bit with the music in the background. So we stopped by to do a little dancing. And after that, 
We got some drinks because it was really hot. And then I went back to the post where I purchased the box. I was really excited and really happy that I found this. Um, so yeah, guys, hopefully you guys would like to subscribe, um, thumbs up this video, comment if you like. And I'll see you guys on my next video. And stay tuned for this DIY video coming up for this box right here. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye. The Kirby.